everyone, welcome to our vegetable production series with Sakata, where we talk about everything vegetables from um, irrigation, fertigation, soil preparation and so on. Today we're talking rotavator combined with the ridger, what's the importance of ridging and in terms of soil preparation, where does the rotavator fit in? Lolo, how are you doing? Good you so No, good, good. Right, first of all, just give me an idea, soil preparation, how important is that for vegetable production? I cannot stress that enough, Andre. It's, it's very, very important. Um, so we are at the rotavator stage. We spoke about the ripper. We spoke about the plow. Now we're at the rotavator, which is the final step when preparing your soil. And now where does the rotavator fit in and why is that important? So it is important because now after you've ripped your soil, you've got those big lumps of uh, uh, or, or the, the, the compacted lumps of soil yeah. that you've got uh, so this helps break those up so basically basically these ones that come that come through exactly yeah. so now the rotavator there underneath would break those into smaller ones yep uh, and then with the ridger here would we'll then make a, a, a raised bed as you can see here so this is basically the raised bed that that we've, we've got now here what is the importance of a raised bed why do i want to have that raised bed and why don't i just plant all the vegetables on a flat piece of earth uh, well, the first thing is that a raised bed the, uh, is softer, yeah. so it makes it easier for the for the roots to penetrate the soil. Secondly, should you get a lot of rain, uh, the rain is going to come to the sides, it's not going to sit on your soil bed, and which is uh, not ideal for you to have that water just sitting there by your plant, it's going to suffocate your plant. So with a raised bed, the water can come to the side. Uh, another thing uh, interesting about raised beds is that the temperature is high in there, which in turn then makes your plants grow faster. That's interesting. Yes. Uh, but how does, how does that work then? Is it, is it high? Because do you get a little bit of better sunlight penetration in there than you would get on the, the other flat swell? Especially on the sides of the beds. Oh. Yes. So, oh, yes, because the sun, it goes, uh -huh. the, it's not straight. Ah, I'm with you. You're with me. Exactly. So because it's on the sides, it, it, it becomes uh, warmer than on a flat uh, surface. Okay, and, I, and then you get a more even heat distribution within your reach, am I correct? That is very much correct. And does it keep the heat better in there as well, or do you, is it, doesn't it really matter? Uh, well, it does to a certain extent, but not as much as when we put our plastic on top of our beds, yes. which is something we'll discuss with you as well. Uh, that so one has got significant amount of increase in temperature. which So, so that's coming. Check out for that plastic video. We're going to be putting plastic on the ridges as well. That's coming with, uh, with time. Uh -huh. The other thing that I want to know is then exactly how does this rotavator thing work? Okay. So uh, underneath this yellow part here uh, is the rotating part, the yeah. one that ro uh, that rotates, and it breaks up those lumps and makes it. It's like it's got it's got like hammers there. Exactly. So those hammers make it this fine um, um, soil, and then after and, that, and then I get this. That's what you get. Which is just like this. Uh, if you <laughs> if you were a vegetable, wouldn't you want to grow in that? Eh? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So that's what the, 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 the rotavator underneath there does. And then these uh, are just spaced out depending on what the former wants in terms of the size of the bed. But what would determine the spacing of my bed? Is it the type of vegetable or is it just uh, um, the spacing that you've got on your tractors or just the way that I maybe feel like this, this works best for me? Uh, so so it, it, it can be either um, the crop which is usually the, the, the main influence of what the size of the bed would be. So usually with the cocoa beds, because we spread them out wider, you'd have bigger beds. Uh, but also some people would like to um, make beds of, of their own size so that they can maybe, for instance, do two lines uh, on a bed. Oh, uh, if maybe you want to do one line, you'd make a smaller bed. So depending on how, the amount of lines you want to do, you would then adjust um, this accordingly. Last question. So this is, uh, um, if you look at the ridge, it is soft and it does crumble, but it's still, to a large extent, it's a firm seed bed. Yes. How important is that for the cultivation of vegetables? That is very important. If it's not firm, you have those air pockets. Yes. With those air pockets, now what's going to happen is that your plant is not going to grow well because it doesn't have good contact with the soil. Yep. So you're going to have water in there, or if you've got your seed in there, it's not in contact with the, with the soil, it's not going to germinate. And then I'm finding you and it's your fault. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Lolo, thank you very much. Right, so the importance of ridging and specifically make sure that you've got a firm seed bed in there, that your seeds 
germinate properly and uh, when you put in seedlings um, that you can um, easily work with them, get them into the soil, do not get a J root and all those types of things. And um, yeah, make sure that you invest in your soil preparation. Um, these hand out tools will not do it for you. And check out all our other videos. We've got a whole pro uh, um, vegetable production series with Sakata. Uh, click the link on top or below, depending on where you're watching this. Comment if you've got any questions and we will get back to you. Till next time. Cheers.